Welcome, I am Joshi, and in this playthrough of Marvel Champions, we have Hulk taking on Crossbones in standard difficulty. Now, I have to do a bit of a shout out for this deck. Uh, a few weeks ago, I was in a stream with D20 Woodworking. If you don't know who that is, you're living under a rock, go okay, Marvel Champions community, go check out D20. Um, I was talking to Villain Theory again. If you don't know who that is, yeah, go check him out. Um, so, Villain Theory and I were talking. I was talking about how I don't particularly love many Hulk leadership decks, and I especially like thematic decks. Uh, so, Bill in Theory, being who he is, he uh, decided to take on the challenge of making me a thematic leadership deck. So, that's what we're going to try out today. Uh, so, unlike a certain you know, stream I've already mentioned, I do read out uh, the decks concerning uh, Bill in Theory, what, how he's described the deck, but fortunately, there's actually not much to read on this. So his description of this deck says, I've seen lots of Hulk decks with strength and numbers band together or just about repeatedly making the call for Maria Hill. So I banned myself from using those cards. Enter Go Down Swinging. Go Down Swing is a fun card on its own, but what if to go down swinging meant to have Hulk pick up and swing your fragile body like a fleshy baseball bat? He's then put in a little uh, screenshot of, I believe, of the improvised melee weapon from Boulder's Gate. Now that's more like it. So that's the deck we're going to be doing. It'll be in the description. We'll see how it goes. So let's go through the setup for Crossbones. Uh, we create the experimental weapons deck and set next to the main scheme, which we've done here. Uh, so we'll flip over to advance. Uh, so we have attack on Mount Athena. Crossbones is leading an army of Hydra soldiers in direct assault on the Project Pegasus, Pegasus facility. Um, so reveal the top card of the experimental weapons deck. That's what it says there when revealed. So we have a laser rifle. And so crossbones up here, 12 life, attack of one, scheme of one, plus laser rifle gives him plus one. It says when the attached villain attacks, he gains range. So currently has ranged. And here when crossbones has a weapon attachment, which this is, he gets piercing. So he discarding tough status cards from the target before dealing damage. Okay. We'll draw up our five starting cards. We have go down swinging. Another go down swinging, a movable object, Hope Summers, and a Limitless Strength. Interesting. Okay, well, I'm actually going to discard the two go down swingings for now. I'm going to hold on to these three and draw two more cards Hulk Smash and Enhanced Physique. Okay. I see what you're doing to me, game. We'll use Banner's Experimental Research Ability to draw a card and discard a card. We have Lockjaw. We will definitely discard him. I mean, do I Hawk Smash off the bat and lose everything else? I think I do. We'll flip up to Hulk. We'll use our Limitless Strength to Hulk Smash. For 13 damage, Crossbones only has 12. So we already knock him into stage 2. Comes in with 14 health. Uh, he's still, when he has a weapon attachment, he gains piercing. But now when revealed, search the encounter deck and discard pile for Crossbones machine gun and attach it to Crossbones, shuffle the encounter deck. We'll find his machine gun. There it is. So we attach to crossbones and it uses two per player ammo counters. So it will just come with two counters. When crossbones attacks, you remove one ammo counter from this card and discard the top card in the encounter deck. Take indirect damage equal to the number of boost icons on the discarded card. So attach there. I've got my token ready. Yep, so that's a token. It's like two bullets, one bullet. Two there. And we'll spend two resources to put enhanced physique. So that comes in with three counters. We can exhaust enhanced physique and remove one uh, counter from it and generate a physical resource. And we'll now ready up. Draw four cards, a crushing blow, leadership skill, energy, and unstoppable force. 
we get one throughout the main scheme. Crossbones goes to attack us, so we do his uh, machine gun. Discard card here. We have two icon, two boost icons, so we take two indirect damage. Knock us down to 16. We'll take the attack to the face. He's coming and swinging at us for three plus one, so four. Taking us down to 12. Our encounter card. Hydro Patrol. So it says when defeated, each player searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a Hydra minion and puts it in play and engage with them. Shuffle the encounter deck. That comes in with two threat and puts a crisis icon into play. So. We're going to attack for three. Taking crossbones down to 11. We're going to use our leadership skill and one of our enhanced physique counters. Spend two physical resources for unstoppable force to ready Hulk. If we pay for this card using only physical resources, which we did, we draw one card. We have snow guard. Ah, oh, that's not what I wanted. All right, well, we'll attack for three. Taking crossbones down to eight. I think we just flip down, survive, and then flip up and uh, defeat crossbones next turn, hopefully. We'll flip down. Hold on to all of these. Ready. Draw two more cards. We have a Halley Carrier and Limitless Strength. Okay, and now Crossbones turn. So we get one thread on here. Crossbones is going to scheme for two. So just two plus three. So five all up, which will push this past its three threshold. So inside Project Pegasus facility, S.H.I.E.L.D. agents fight desperately to prevent Hydra from obtaining the reality stone stored within. So this comes in when revealed. Reveal the top card of the experimental weapons deck. We get an exosuit. So attached to the villain, we need one of each resource to spend to discard it. It's given plus one scheme and plus one attack. And this comes in with one threat per player. We get our encounter card. Concussion Grenade. When you reveal an alter ego, you are confused. Place one threat on the main scheme, two threat instead if you're already confused. It's fine. We'll get confused. We place one threat on the main scheme. Back to us. Okay. We're going to flip up to Actually, while we're down, we'll use our experimental research ability to draw a card and discard a card. Suborbital leap. Don't really care about that. Flip up. We will attack crossbones for three. Take him down to five. Going to spend four resources to bring in Snow Guard. And so after Snow Guard enters play, you can place, a, place up to three shift counters here. Uh, while the shift counters are here, uh, are equal to X, she gets, so if we just have one counter, she gets plus three attack and attacks gain overkill. If she has two counters, she gets plus three thwart and she gains the aerial trait. And if she has f uh, three counters, she gets plus five hit points and retaliate one. We are just going to put one counter on her. So she's got an attack of three and overkill. She's then just going to attack for three. Taking crossbones down to two. We're going to use our enhanced physique to pay for a crushing blow with the physical resource. Which is deal damage to an enemy equal to our attack. Our attack is three. Crossbones A has two health. Crossbones is defeated. So... The deck worked, 
probably not as villain theory intended as I didn't get to do any go down swingings. But I suppose what I'll do is I'll play this again uh, with another villain down the line and see how we go then. Uh, so once again, Hulk, strongest one there is. Crossbones was too puny to be any match to him at all. Uh, if you enjoy this content, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Thanks very much for watching.